Konnichiwa, Minasa. Watashi no Amai wa Yaga And we're back on the front. And we are about to ambush a rather sizable force of Uesugi fighters who decided to attempt to launch a siege battle. Uh, though, question, if I decline the attack, they could get ambushed and get, uh, we could get ambushed and have both of them involved, where's the other one? Uh, we have a fair amount of Ashigaru, though a lot of them, in fact all of them, have no experience whatsoever. And I do have a, some kind of better, I do, ooh, we do have the Tanigashima and yeah, probably our best, arguably our best range units in this, so yeah. But the thing is, we're probably not going to have uh, an actual ambush, figure quote, but instead more of a traditional line battle. Um, we'll have to probably have a more... Uh... Wait, it's raining? That's not good. It means matchlock units will take longer. Why are we having a, a speech in a... Okay, sure. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do to try and deal as much of an effective... Um, yeah, to be as effective as possible is we're going to have... Uh, I'll never see... Right, this is going to be a bit of a risky job, but this is how we're going to do it. Matchlock infantry will be, um... I kind of wish our battlefield was a little bit bigger. Like, the deployment zone. Wait, how do I deploy? How do I deploy? Alright. They're going to be... Well, no, the enemy's finishing deployment here, so really, we should try and deploy them here. And then... try and deploy them. We'll try and deploy... I don't think the cannons really could do any good here, so we're going to try and deploy them in a somewhat safe location. Um, the Katana Samurai will deploy defensively here. Onabushi and the Commander will be here. You guys will have volley fire on. And yeah. So we're going to be having an uphill battle, but hopefully the way that these guys have deployed, they won't be able to deploy a lot, and we can have a traditional, like, normal battle. I think I quote traditional. Um, yeah, there we go. Right, and go! Okay, this is good. This is this is actually quite useful. Uh, right. Form up defensively here. Cannon, move up to here. Uh, right, I want three units of katanas watching that flank there. Hide in the forest. Whoever's shooting, shoot first and fast. First and fast and do everything as a blast. Alright. Do 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 do. Onabushi takes defensive positions there. Right, you three. No, you two. Where are you two? Right, you two. Move up to this section. Try and see if we can make this and turn into a normal battle. Shit. Admittedly, this sounds bad, but this is the Matchlock Ashigaru. They are meant to be useless for a reason. Uh, Onobushi will go in reserves. Matchlock fire intensify. 
Right, you two, engage. I want you to act as reserve. You, right, you, you, you and you will now form up defensively in terms of security. Yari Ronin is steady. I want you rapid firing. Like, we need to get as many kills as possible. Going for their leadership will cause uh, some level of pain to be... Well, will cause some level of... Uh, that's them gone. Killing their general is going to be useful, though. Now, admittedly, the enemy's forces are going to be kind of coming in piece piecemeal. Which Our is going to be useful. Grave danger, my lord. Withdraw. Though this battle is going to be a bit of a clusterfuck, to say the least. The hope is if we can kill their generals before a majority of their army arrives, um... Mortars, I want you targeting their bow, Ronin. Fire you and you and you. I want you to make your way over to there and deal with that problem. You guys charge down the hill and gain supremacy. I want as much supremacy on this front line as possible. I want you guys to move up, take care of that. Um, I want you guys to maneuver and fight over to here. I want the Onabushi to be in defensive position. You guys have killed the other dudes. Fantastic. Right. Regroup. You. Engage. We have to try and gain supremacy at all, at all costs. Right. Focus on that. Right. Really? Fucking really? Really? That is bullshit. That is actually really fucking stupid. You guys, if it wasn't for the fact that you... Well, you're Ronin. Useless piece of junk. Right. Luckily for us, the AI is just as dumb as the units that I have in command. Right. They routed. Good. I want you guys to form up and deal with that. You two. Come charging in and do some real nasty damage. Done some good damage now already. How about you actually do your job this time, you Muppets? These fuckers route. Oh, they're so fucked. Oh, good fucking job. Right, there's their general. My lord, their general has Beauty. fallen. A cutting blow. Right, you boys, regroup and start pushing in. Yep, that's perfect. Right, matchlock infantry, I want you to... Let's go back to normal, please. Right, pincer in on that unit. I want them routing. Gain me supremacy and I can then expand the matchlocks. Come on. There's 
they're dying me out. Right. He's gone. Good. Starting to take the piss a bit now. Right. You boys are going to go in there. Okay, I need you to start pushing in and providing some support. If we can kill their general, that's going to deal a crippling blow to, well, the daimyo. Right, you boys, nip up, get close. Mortaru. Target. Good news is we are getting some solid hits here. Right. Good news also is that if, if we're lucky, this might be the general. Where's the general? There's the general. Right. Pincer in around him. Now, for those who've not played, who've not watched up to this point, and I've not, not talked about it. Using Rapid Advance doesn't just give your guys the ability to run faster and have a better charge. It also restores some of their... Well, temporarily restores some of their in, um, their ex their energy. So it's like a quick little boost to try and ensure that we get... And it does work um, in comparison to other stuff like that. They're all routing, which is important. Have we killed him? I don't see a dead monk. My lord, their general has fallen. Yes. A cutting blow. That's that is indeed a cutting blow. Right, pins it. Rush down. Rush down. Rush down. Everybody gets a sword out and starts cacking, hacking, hacking, hacking. All except these dudes. Uh, more taru. Probably a wise idea to start going that way. Like, their army losses is going to start catching up with them, and they are going to feel it. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what, Mortaru, just stop. You can just stop. Now I'm wondering, as it's an ambush, does that mean we automatically... My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours! Charge through. Yeah, they're going to shatter any second. Awesome. That was fucking dope. Not going to lie. We've killed us so many of them as well. I just hope we can actually kill them, unlike, you know... Um, Ashigaru is something, is one thing, but we need to ensure, right, Yari Ronin, target of, target of opportunity. Probably should have used that during the thing, but that's okay. Right. I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit and call it. Yeah, I would say I would say it was a close battle, though I'd like to I would have personally I would have looked it at it more as a heroic victory. Just because, you know, uh Ah, there we go. So we have successfully killed a very large force of uh of Usugi.
and have defeated quite a lot. Who got the most kills? I'm going to have some Mare. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, killing all of their generals and daimyo once again, uh, forcing them back onto the defensive. Probably should have killed a bit. We could, probably could have killed a bit more, but okay. Alas. Oh, they tried to assassinate my priest, eh? And they're not gonna get away with. It. They're not gonna get away with it. And also, but still, we get um, we get the benefits of. Uh, of uh, replenishment, so pretty much we'd lose nothing in this particular battle, more or less. Uh, we're not going to get the absolute perfect replenishment. That's in South Tango, um, but <laughs> rather frustratingly, though, we will have the disadvantage of dealing with uh, taking both of those settlements now that they're fully occupied. But who knows? Maybe they're easier. Maybe they're harder. Sometimes I've found that, um... Oh dear. No. Whatever shall we do? Yes! Good fucking job. Who's that? Uh, who's that? Okay, so one of our priests. Uh, attempt. Ooh. So, more, ascent, more attempts and suc less successes, but... Right. Tried and imprisoned. Oh God! Look at all those, those assassins. We've got a lot of work to do, but this is why we spawned so many. Kind of wish it'd be like in Rome too, a uh, while back, eh? Right. Uh, no, no. Those Metsukeas is not likely to hold. Uh, right. Okay. So. Yeah. We. Okay. Question. What rank are you? Well, no, you almost killed one of my dudes, so you need to die. No, I didn't want you to sabotage. Uh, I wanted you to fucking... Uh... Right. We have to... Okay. He's a level one, so that's unlikely to do anything. He almost... Right, I need you to assassinate this guy. At least we sabotage him food. And he fails, of course, the one fucking time that... Two, two, two. Okay, so. Yep, apprehend. Tried and executed. Fantastic. Uh, then I want you to convert to Christendom. Shit. Well, he had only a 50% chance to win, so I'm not entirely surprised. Um, though they only tried to sabotage it. Kind of impressed. Right, uh, priest. He's only a level one, but he has a 58% chance. It's an 85% chance, but unfortunately, he's only just started. I'm guessing there's a problem with. If I say a problem, right, Metsuke. 95% chance you're fucking dead. You're dead. Yep, gone. I'm going to try and be as careful as I can. Yeah, you're dead. Got a lot of agent war. This is the agent wars. You got him. Good shit, good shit. Annoyingly, we're going to have, when we get our agent back, however, it's going to be a bit of a... Right, four units of... Uh... Alright, is there anything else we need to prepare? Um, uh, okay. Um, Sword expertise would be a good idea, I think. Um, a little bit. Uh, that'll probably be the next thing we focus on. I know the bows are fairly important, but we have more katanas in our army than bows. <clears throat> Both of these are level 1, so let's not risk it. 
Um, you're more or less recovered, aren't you? You, yeah, you're 100% again. I love it. Right, priest. I think we need to start converting places or resting. Can I incite a revolt? I can. I have a low chance, but it might just fuck these guys over. Sixty what two percent? Oh, sixty-one. I have one percent more in South Tango. Thing is, the armies in the armies oh, they probably won't do a lot, but at the same time, depending on the strength of the armies inside the garrison, maybe it might be like a uh, super ultra mega. Uh, insight revolt. No, there's no guarantee that it'll work, mind you. Oh, you fucking serious? I really despise that. Like, you should be able to do it. You are literally right fucking next to the settlement. You're actually clipping into the settlement. Yet, the game doesn't say you can do it. Because I don't know. Reasons. Magic. There we go. That's more logical. Right, let's improve this and uh, get you a sword school. Actually, no. Bow. As much as we are matchlock lovers, we are... Logical thinkers as well. Okay, so clearly we're gonna have to wait until the peacetime agreements end with this lot, but yeah. Um, unless I'm back at war with them. No. No, I am not. Well, no, I am, but you know. Actually, we do have an opportunity to do something here. Alright. Unfortunately, I fucked my food supplies. I meant to kill that guy, but... Oh, shit. Shit happens. Um, who knows? Maybe I might be crippling their ability to feed stuff. Um, that's way too aggressive. Like, that would be feeding them two armies if I tried going for Central Kawachi. Um, going for North Kawachi probably would be quite useful, because then we can start trying to spread Christendom into the, uh, into the world. And also, there's no reinforcements within a reasonable amount of distance. Okay, I think we're ready to make the first pull, so... Yeah, we're ready to make the first push. So, uh, right. Okitsune, you are... You've been with us for a while, and I think it's time. Let's go. Right. Reinforcements. You can occupy the settlement. Uh, Moto Chica. He can, if he wants to, give you a hand, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. Right. Match lock. Oh no, they're just bows, aren't you? But you're. There you go. Inside the settlement, you go. And then next turn, I can send uh, Tokikuni. Out to say hello. Then you can make your way up there. We need more matchlocks, though. Uh, question. Tashima, can I recruit matchlocks? I can. Are they going to be good shots, though? No. By many leagues, no. But they are what we've got. Right. Exceptional accuracy. So what's stopping us from being superior? So what's stopping them from being superior? What makes them superior in East Tosa? Master Bowmaker, Hunting Lodge. Exceptional. So what makes them exceptional in this place, but not in... Uh, Master Bowmaker, Hunting Lodge, Arsenal? I have no idea. Well, what I will do, though, is I will make some Hiyataiho. Just because I think it's probably necessary. Right, so there's our Hia Taiho production facilities. They're going to be going up as much as we can. Right, okay, so I think it is, yes, time to launch our first assault into the, the quagmire. That is all of these settlements. I suppose the fact, I suppose I should be consoling myself in the fact that we will not only, A, have the, ability, the luxury of uh, not having to worry about winter attrition, but we're also starting to really hack into the, uh, the core t territories. Of that, I could. 
kind of risk Tamba. Sorry, Tessima. Sort of get out the settlement. They're going to be all having a fit. And then... Um, we'll get a couple of matchlocks to try and, you know, offset the fact that we're going to have to deal with... Uh... Alright, sync that. Thank you, way over that. We're going to need to push out soon. I have to wait a few more turns, don't I? Uh, unfriendly. Nasu. They are currently at war with our enemies, though. If you'd like a trade agreement? Cast your words yeah, up. Sure. I'm down for having a trade agreement. It's been a while since we've had any trade agreements. This is probably the one of the last few times I'm going to be able to actually make a diplomacy thing before I end up having to push all the way up there. Um, but hey, it's nice to know that I can still trade with some people. Again, I'm pretty much right on the doorstep of the daimyo. Am I seriously not triggering Rum Divide? Still obscure. I'm obscure. Anyway. Mm. Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, I was half tempted into thinking we could attack Osaka, but that's like got two and a half, three armies behind them saying hello, and I'd have to bring reinforcements from Teshima before I even think about doing that. So, instead, do this. Alright, so this particular settlement is Limoria, Limoriyama Castle over the settlement. North Kawachi. It's going to be pretty intense and hell is all going to break loose. So we're going to have to try and do what we can. Obviously the garrison isn't that... Well, it's a big garrison. It's a, it's a castle, you know, or fortress or whatever. Here we go. Ah! New battlefield. Nice. So... We're going to try and see if we can do the usual thing, or our usual routine, blow up as much as we can, minimize the amount of casualties we can take, and then maybe launch the proper assault. Osaka is a bit too much at the moment. We'd need to force the enemies to... Well, I think we'd have to hold the defensive for a while, but if we could nab Osaka, that would be beautiful. That would be a very strong position to work from, because then we could just hold for, like, fucking years, and the enemy could never go near us. No. Central ja fucking pan And I never... Th well, I knew we would get to this point at somehow. I knew we would arrive here at some point. But I wouldn't... I did not suspect we'd get here at such a... I'd argue critical mass moment. And I'm... And I am excited. It's one of those things... Like, I was kind of... I was... When I was first thinking of this series, I was kind of thinking when I got, like, the whole mod list set up and we had all the different... Uh, yeah, the... Uh, right, I'd say all the dudes set up here look menacing, but not always hidden. Uh, matchlocks, uh, well, no, matchlocks will take cover behind these dudes to provide cover. Bows will be in the forest to do whatever. General will go here. Go. Oh, as I live and breathe. Right, concentrate fire on that. We might just win this without losing a single fucking casual. Well, we will take casualties in them... Knock that castle gate out, and then we can make a dash for it. They have no cavalry. They'd have to run. We're running as well. Oh, you can fuck yourself. Seriously. That's a fucking gate. You're in range. Do it. Rapid reload. Come on. Come on, you're in fucking range. Reload. We need to blow that gate up. We get inside, we can take the castle in a matter of seconds. Come on, come on, come on. One more shot, one more shot, one more shot. Come on, come on, come on. Load, 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 load. Good shit. Yes! 
Beautiful. Cannon. Cease fire. No! Get the fuck over there! Fine. No! Game! Fuck off! No! Oh god, this game's irritating me right now. Game, you, shoot, that, now, you, move, there, go. Because apparently blowing up the gate doesn't count, apparently. Go! Oh, you sneaky motherfuckers. What's up? Have they patched it? They fixed the fucking map. You sneaky motherfuckers. Banded it. Get the fuck back. Get back. Oh, there goes the chance to get this battle early. Oh, you cunt sack. You fixed the map. Oh, that's evil. He actually changed the map. Oh, that was such a disappointing feel. Oh, this feeling of disappointment is so intense now. I've taken a shitload of casualties for nothing. He's still not fucking shooting. You useless sack of... Right. I'm getting revenge for that. Oh, that's so irritating. I was so determined to get everything set up, and now he's going to get set up. Yeah, we're, we're in for a traditional siege now. Oh, that is so irritating. Fuck you. Oh, that's so irritating. Oh, now he's going to get the opportunity to set up. I mean, admittedly, it was a pretty big weakness, because I could just deploy to the right and do whatever, but that's clearly a, hey, hey, I know what you're doing. Fuck you. Now it's going to take forever to do these battles. Oh, that's irritating as hell. I liked this battle because of what it does, but now I've, this is, yeah, now this is in the way and he can't cross it. Ah, it's an updating mod. The days where we used to be able to stream into the center of this place and quickly rush in to do the battle is now over. The days where we have to spend our time laying seat. Really? Oh, okay. No, fair, fair, fair play. Fair play. You are being blocked by allies. So, you know what? That's fine. I'd rather you say I can't shoot because allies. Oh, that's going to be a... Oh, that's depressing now. I have to find another target. Like, I have to find another abuse target. And the only target I can... No, there's no way we can do it. And There is... I suppose we could go around the other side. No, we can't. There is no quick way to do this anymore. We have to foot slog our way into this area. There is this kind of tiny pathway here, but we have to go into here now to get... We have to physically go here to get to here. Oh, we're going to be in for a long siege now, aren't we? Oh, this is going to take forever. Oh, that was irritating. I'm honestly disheartened now. I am sadly... I am disheartened. I mean, it's fair. It's fair because it is a siege and I'm supposed to take this seriously. But, ah, oh, this is depressing. I only have one bit of siege equipment as well. Right. Try and target that gatehouse. Knock out that one gatehouse and then try and hit the matchlock towers. We're going to have to try and do what we normally do. There's a lot of dudes over here, though. And it's quite an intense battle on that side. And oh, wasted so many dudes. I'm trying to get into this area. And evidently, it was a bad idea to start with. But, yeah. No, that... It was a bad idea. I can only hope that by killing all of these uh, archers, we can kind of make up for that, um, make up for that lack of fact, or lack of, uh, yeah, that fact. I mean, if we can kill a lot of their Baweshigaru, that'll make my life a lot easier, because then at least we can try and maybe, I don't know, if we can Zerg rush, um, if we can Zerg rush this gatehouse... Maybe dash some troops inside the right, come up towards here. We can still kind of achieve the tr the victory that I was thinking of. It's just, it's a little bit more risky. Because previously, when it had victories... Yeah! Beautiful. 
Good shit, good shit. Right. Cannon. Target. That. Cool. Okay, so we're going to have to experiment with a new type of uh, siege assault. Around here, what I'm probably going to have to do, I mean, obviously not with the guys who I had to spam into there. I probably will retire those guys for the rest of the battle with a big apology notice on the side saying, really fucking sorry. Because that was not cool. We got reinforcements though, so it's not like I can't... Oh, they're gone. GG. Uh, right, what have we got? Dojo? No, just bog standard. There's no dojo. Well, there is dojos, but not the kind of dojos I was thinking of. What I'm going to try and do is and try and get some troops to move to this entrance way here. Knocking out this uh, gatehouse, and then I'm going to maybe get some troops uh, of the katana range to come up and assault the... Po oh, there we go. Uh, move in, assault the point, and come up around here. Try and sort of breach the lines a bit. Beautiful. Uh, get the match locks to move up, provide cover fire, and then... Yeah, they're starting to bring up their reserves. Well, not their reserves, but you know what I mean. Mm. Yeah, it looks like that's going to have to be the way we do it now. Which is irritating, but there we are. I'm going to draw attention a bit. Maybe knock out this section. Probably knock out that. Really where I wanted you to aim, but okay. We got Ashigaru, Retainers, and Diet Yari Dojo. We can knock out that. I think I'll we'll knock out that Matchlock Tower. Actually, no. Focus on this gatehouse first, then we'll knock out the Matchlock Tower. Lol. Um, right, Matchlocks, get ready to do your job. To be honest with you, what we should probably do is have all the matchlocks move up. Get total supremacy of fire. That said, though, we'll have them in different waves. We'll save the ammo. For some reason, we've been doing really well with our matchlocks, uh, with our cannon today. Like, excessively well. I mean, I know it's because he's getting better at his job, but still. My only depressing fact was that I really wish we could have attacked, we could have used the Komor Taiho on the, uh... Alright, let me get some... Right. Get these dudes involved. Alright, we'll try and get this area sorted. It's going to be a bit of a push, but I think if we can get my vo my dojo, um, if I can get my matchlocks to come up, rinse what's left of the of the infantry, which won't really be a lot. Yeah, like there won't really be a lot of dudes left, and yeah, cease fire on that. Target th that. I'll need to go bye bye. We need to knock that out. The thing is, if we can minimize the amount of archers that the um, the Saito can use against us. All right, that's awesome. I mean, the matchlock towers are bad. Don't get me wrong, but um, knocking them out would be useful. Uh, not they they will obviously they will cause casualties, but it's not nowhere near as bad as it could be with the. Uh, Alright, time to silence some bows. Here they come. What have we 
got wolves and yeah, I thought of that. This is beautiful. Oh, there we go. And the more casualties they take, the less likely they're going to fight effectively. Yeah, you just run in front of my dudes. That's fine. Give them target practice, you know. Come on. Cool's enough to make them rout. Really gonna do this because I will blow this up. Targeting. Cannon. Yeah, I thought as much. A little fucking late. Idiots. Alright, pivot the line forwards and start engaging. You're gonna take some casualties, but that's fine. It's to be expected. Shrink the lines down a bit to try and maximize efficiency. And then I'll get these three dudes to come up and silence uh, these guns. I'd say probably here is our best bet so they don't get interfered with those dudes. I might then once I've done taking care of this area, I'll roll these guys up and do that. Then we'll get the then I'll get my um, my bow to try and move up and zerg them. That said, though, they are going to have to run out. Right. Katanas. Make ready to push. What we got? Actually, got to. What actually got to? Right. We've got that area suppressed. Good. Bows. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time. Go, go, go. Are you serious? Right, three. Why can't I get through? Explain to me, game. Why can my infantry not get through? I refuse to accept this. The fucking gatehouse is destroyed. Why can I not get through that? Seriously. There is a gatehouse there. Has he broken it or something? You know what? Fuck it. Get on the walls. The one thing I've never done because it costs way too many lives and is the most pointless way of loot, is the most pointless manner in attacking a castle. I'm doing it just to prove a point. There is a gatehouse that's open. I can't get through. Apparently, this game... Well, apparently, I can't access this entire point. Unless I take the fucking... Con if I have to take control of the fucking gate, that's broken. That is a broken mess right there. But if I have to fucking take this place this way, then I have to fucking take this place this way. Also, what the fuck?
Right, match logs, move up, suppress. Fucking climb that piece of garbo. I have to do this thing that I don't ha want to do because of this. This is the last time I will be laying siege like this, though, rest assured. For some reason, having to do it like this is the most fucking stupid way of doing it as possible. So I will have to find another way. That, I'll have to probably, what I'll have to do is run the gauntlet or go all the way around to here. Maybe. So I can gain access via this location. And do the same thing in reverse. It is, this is the, it is, this is the most pathetic waste of fucking time I've ever seen with this. Right, at least they're going to get shat on from a great height. Technically, I should be able to shoot from there, but okay. Are you going to shoot? You are reloading, so you are dealing with that. Good. Uh, it's going to... Katanas, climb those walls. Gang doesn't let me have it. Right. They're going to want to get their troops up. I am beyond annoyed. I am fucking... I am pissed off with this. This is stupid. Like, I'm wasting men because it, I'm wasting men. But this is the only way that if, if, the game, if he's forcing me to do it this way... Because, not because of a logical reason, but because gameplay. Then this is a bad design on the map. Like, this is a bad move on the creator part. Because if I have to do this in order to get anywhere, then I don't like it. It's like, it's the same case with the, it's, it's the same case when I had that map that went to shit. Um, because I had, um... Shoot, fuckers. Yeah, I'm going to lose this fucking fight if I don't get those kills. Right, kill those dojo. Right, break out. Right, good. Oh, you can fuck right off with that. I own the fucking gatehouse. I own the gatehouse. Is that why it wouldn't let me use the gates? Because I hadn't burnt the fucking thing down in the first place. My Lord, that is ridiculous. That is actually really... That is ridiculous. That is fucking stupid. Right. Now that that's destroyed... I still can't go! I physic... There's this entire route has become in... I cannot access this entire area. Why not? I'd like to know, because it doesn't really make any sense. Am I not allowed to go anywhere in this fucking place? I I think there is a glitch. It has to be a glitch, because they seriously could not have designed this map to be this poorly optimized. Is that the, what it looks like is I'm going to have to somehow... Oh no, 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 I am now allowed to go this way. Having wasted all those fucking troops. Oh, hello, I suddenly now have the ability to go up into that area. Like magic. Now let's waste more lives. That is fucking stupid. I've wasted so many Katana soldiers. Right. Katana Samurai. Run. I have wasted so many fucking lives. And now I can finally get over there. What is going on? It must have been a glitch or something. A co I wow. Okay, yeah, no. This is by far the worst. I honestly think the map designer actually fucked up more 
because he designed he because he updated the map. Then then again, it feels like a glitch. I could be I could be of the opinion, and I could be correct in said opinion, that there is an actual glitch going on, causing the game to be like this because it has been it is fucking rough. Right, take this cunting castle. At least we were able to ignore a majority of the enemy's army. Not all of it. Oh, for God's sake. Fucking get out of my battlefield, you useless pile of wank. Just get the fuck out of my battlefield. You useless. Right. Matchlocks. You good? The only unit who's actually done what I fucking asked them. Blow that fucker up so I don't get shot all the buggery. I think he needs to update this map um, and make it like it was before because I think, yeah, sure, that had a that other map had a glaring exploit, but at least it functioned, and it wasn't a broken pile of it wasn't a broken mess like this one is. But yeah, look, the only units that have done me proud and have con and have consistently f and flawlessly worked th their magic. Dojo Samurai. Yeah, so a majority of these dudes are thankfully we're not going to have to encounter, which is a bit of a relief. Right, 10 seconds. And we can end this fucking thing. Right, okay. I'm disappointed in that. That is bullshit. This map is fucking right okay well look the next time we play this map which i hope is not as often now we can at least strategize a new method in how to play through either we go from yeah let's end it either we go from this side so we'll have to spend all of eternity moving the army around to here and then assaulting from this location because then it looks like in theory there's only one area we have to push through rather than the two that we now have to go through um, like, I can see the reason why he did what he did, because obviously this area was a glaring exploit. It's like all this lovely defense, and then he forgot to make something that made this difficult. But then, the fact that I couldn't actually get into the, the, the fact that I couldn't get into the fortress here, uh, despite blowing up the gate, and then on top of that having to burn down the fucking gate that I owned in order to get it to be, be get me to go through, is a bit ridiculous to say the least and I'm not happy at all like I lost way more than I did not because of my own incompetence but because the game said I had to lose this troops like I had to exchange them not because of a reasonable uh, things like for example fighting or my carelessness or my bloodthirstiness no I lost over 700 nearly 800 troops because some fucktard didn't know how to code a map properly I'm actually quite pissed off about that. I wasted too many fucking... Oh yeah, that must have been like overall. I have wasted too much fucking people on that. But, bittersweet as this victory may be, we actually do have the settlement. Alright. Fuck you, North Kawachi, you piece of garbage town. Right, you can go fuck yourself, you can become... Actually, you can also go fuck yourself, because I need... I don't need powder makers, I need... Alright. If I was to attack, I'd have... Yeah, I'd have the entire... Oh, I'd have... There's the daimyo of these dudes. But I'd not only have Osaka Castle, but I'd also, yeah, I'd have all of the other parts of Japan. Right. Uh... Right, withdraw.
Kehisima needs to go over there. Surprisingly, they're all chill. Uh, you boys make over your way towards Tessima and secure it whilst we're getting ready. You can stay by there. Oh, that's open as fuck. I shouldn't have done that. They could just roll over and take over Setsu again. Alright, mortars. Uh, yeah. No, mortars, we need you to be over there now. That was a dumb move. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, question. If I leave, yeah, we do need to make our. They're gonna launch a counter attack for sure. And these are not gonna apply because they're not reinforcements. Uh. Not any immediate forces nearby are confirmed, is there? I mean, no. I've I've already sent. I've already committed these dudes to here to defend this. Because I was convinced there was someone would come from the north, but for some reason, in my internal stupidity, I should have realised that there was no reason to send anyone here. Because no one's coming from the north. They're not declaring war on us. And worst case scenario, even if they did, I only just took the settlement, so there's no reason for me to get all panicky about it. So, I'm now actually opening my lines for a counter-attack that could actually do some serious damage. Alright, I'm going to withdraw the priest. Uh, just in case. I need to convert this place, but I don't want to lose my priest. Right, okay. Um, that's only a fucking fortress. Okay, if we're lucky enough and the game gives me a night... If I'm, if I'm lucky enough and the game decides not to late... Like, don't decide to immediately... Um, yeah, if the game doesn't immediately shit on me for making a big mistake. This is a big mistake. I shouldn't have done this. This could set me back a bit if I'm not careful. Well, no, I wasn't careful. That's why it's going to set me back a bit. Um, hmm. Really, though, it should be over here now. Uh, actually, to be honest with you, these guys should be on the front line anyway. Make a move. Right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I might move up um, Mr. Tajima. So, if we can ambush people. We may get spotted, we may not, but that's fine. Oh, we have another statue. That's nice. Uh, right. Let's... Oh, why did I go there? Great. Now I can guess with all my light. Okay, so we get the benefit at least of having that to work with. Oh, hello! Really? I can beat you, but I really can't be bothered. I'll withdraw. There you go. You won't follow me. There we go. And you went into an attrition zone. Why would you? I offer this. Peace. A simple end to war before our peoples are gone. Like blossom on the breeze. No. Oh. Right. Well, look. You make a peace. Sure. I fucked up that order. Is that a priest of mine gone, or is that a priest of theirs gone? I can't tell. I think it's one of my dudes gone. Saito. No! You prick! Good job! You fucking prick! Uh, oh, they went defensive. Oh my god. Right, okay. Oh, you fuckers! Oh, you 
motherfuckers. I'm going to enjoy ripping the shit out of you. Right. We got to knock them. Um, we got to knock out the fucking Saito. Like, we got to kill a majority of their territory. Okay, that's not as bad as I feared. Yes! Good shit. Oh, 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 oh. Who, uh? Oh, uh, ag agricultural or call to arms. Uh, you know what? Nah. Like, as many, as much as we need loads of warriors, agricultural fo focus will give us a nice boost to start the... To start the next phase. Okay, so it's not as bad as I feared. I thought he actually killed me. Um, oh god, look at all these agents. Luckily, we've been killing so many of their agents. Um, right, let's save. I honestly thought I'd lost an agent. Also, I thought for a second there, we lost like more than just that. Right. Right, you make your way back over to the front lines and watch that fucking entrance. You over there now. Actually, wait, no. Matchlocks, hold that. You'll be fine. Right. You're a new agent, but so is he. Get this kill, and that will be a good start to your career. Good job. Great start. Uh. Right, where's my other agent? Oh yes, he got wounded, didn't he? Yes, so he needs to be... Well, now we've got two Trident in prisons now, which is not good. Uh, question, what rank are you? He's only a rank one. Uh, right, does that mean now you're le more likely? Yes. yes, good job, right. This guy is a general as well, holy shit. They've got some actual proper dudes as well. What's this dude? He's got a lot of Ashigaru and uh, Samurai. Uh, right. Well, first of all... Can I get to you? No. We might as well move you up. Uh, right. No, we need to kill as many of their agents as possible. Like, at the moment, we're in a lucky position where we can actually do quite a significant amount of damage to, um... Ooh, hello, Yarironi. Right, these guys are the new guys, so it's fine. Uh, right. Let's get you upgraded. Put you back in the settlement. Uh, Priesty dude, I want you to minister to the settlement. You can go there. Christendom! Oh, lovely. Right. Oh, God, look at all these other fucking agents. It's terrifying. Level 3. Level 3. Level 2. Level 2. Level 1. Right, well, first of all, we have to try and nu knock out that Metsuke. That level 3 Metsuke could cost me dearly. And of course he fucks up because, you know, idiot. You are an idiot, sir. Can I recruit more agents? No. Shit. Not good. Not good. Uh, this is another fleet that suffered attrition. Oh, yeah, you're actually at peace with me now. <laughs> Sorry, that was, that was a dumb move. Uh, right, and you actually are retaining peace with me, even though I should have made you paid more money. So we're actually, once again, only officially at war with the Scythal. Um, whether or not this, of course, lasts is a guaranteed no bloody way chance, but you never know. Uh, what are you? Level 2. Truth be told, I think we should probably go for some of these uh, other lower... Well, what's more of a threat? Well, truth be told, the Metsukes are quite commonly, uh... If I was to go for him, would he be in range? No. Right, let's deprive him of another fucking agent, shall we? Gotcha, motherfucker. 
And he's ranked, as a apprehending overseeing towns. You know what? We'll have a hunting dog. Uh, strength of will. There we go. He's going to be a little bit better at escaping. All right. Well, I think we're coming up to the end of today's episode. Yep, we've already gone over the hour mark. So, the Saitol are attempting to counter not just with their armies and their weapons of... Well, to be honest with you, their armies are being pretty fairly cowardly. Uh, easily being quite cowardly. Right, uh, you need to make your way up towards here. Right, so that's the army we've got. Okay, so this is the army that we have now got. Uh, quite a long movement range still, which is pretty dope. Right, Hockey, I need you on the front lines. We can't have you just watching the town. I, I need you on the front lines watching that. Uh, the sounds, no, the town's Christian. It should be fine. Right, agents. Oh, has he come back? Oh, he has. Fantastic. Right, I could do with you, to be honest with you. How many turns would it take me to get over there? How many turns would it take me to get over Yeah. Because here, we're looking at three turns. Whereas over here, it's just two. There we go. Ancient coalesced. Right. We've got a lot of gambling halls and criminal syndicates, haven't we? Um, uh, construction report. Uh, gambling Hall, Bichu, North Korean Criminal Syndicate, Awaji, Setsu. Yeah, we're upgrading over there. Cool. So, there we are. Hopefully, a little bit less. Well, the thing is, right now, we're in the throngs of dealing with the site door. If we can keep the piece up for a little bit longer, it would actually be very nice. Uh, issue is, though, well, actually not. Yeah, well, the issue is... The, the good news is, at least, that if we can capture a majority of these territories inside Central Japan area, um, we should be able to deal, at least, uh, in part, a very uh, a potentially crippling blow to the Saito, um, as they are undoubtedly going to be... Well, the thing is, we're dealing with probably the strongest part of the Saito nation. They still do have a lot of territory outside of the center point, Um but in this particular area here, we seem to be in a bit of a luck. We seem to be finding some of the best things. They also have Osaka Castle. Now, I don't know whether or not in this particular version of uh, Shogun 2 that Osaka Castle is, in fact, the most valuable of castles to the... Um... What have we got? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if Osaka Castle is, in fact, the most valuable of castles. But at the same time, I'd rather not take the chance and uh, get caught out for it. Uh, arguably what we should do is launch an attack on him. Do the all-out battle. Have like, um... What, what's in this army? The game is really struggling. Oh, fucking hell, he's got Mangadels. Right, in the castle of... Okay, so there's no general there, but this looks like the general... Yeah, there's the daimyo. Nihon Matsuyukyo. This guy is a level 1 commander, but he's got whatever. Otaga Fusatsugu. We've got some... I mean, the armies they've got around is actually pretty dope, but... This could be an opportunity to deliver a crippling blow to the Saito in the, in the area. If we can crush and destroy this army, well, these three armies... Which, yeah, they're all full stacks. Um, I mean, our full stacks versus their full stacks is pretty much what we're, uh, we're trying to tip to it. And the good news is all of these stacks are very inexperienced. I can honestly say that with the exception of this arm... Actually, no. I think this, I think this is the army. I mean, the thing is, they're all, most of them are samurai. But the generals leading them, low level... The armies inside... Uh, this one doesn't even have a general. I mean, this one unfortunately does have uh, exceptional exceptional morale, which makes probably is because of the shrine in the distance, but they're using a fort. So if we can do that, we'll burn the shrine to the ground, and then... 
hopefully destroy the immense. But this is this is probably the this is the majority of the Saito strength in the area. And if we can kill this, this will give us the freedom to lay siege to Osaka, Kawachi, um not Izumi sadly, but uh, it would give us the it would give us the strength we need to secure central Osaka, maybe even Sofu, Yodo and uh, South Kawachi. Because it would reel them back at least. And then I'd have total freedom to get some real fucking damage in. But again, that would be an ep that's gonna have to be for tomorrow, I'm afraid. Well, tomorrow. Whenever I get to recording the next episode, because unfortunately, not only are we out of time, but of course I'm out of time because work tomorrow. See, I'm limited by this as much as you are. You know, it's it's depressing. Also, I see an army on the navy. Just gonna I kind of want to preempt Noto Hatakeyama and attack them, but that would mean that they would have... I could... If I attack that... I'm going to preempt it. Right. Oh yeah, you're building that, aren't you? Shit. Right, well... We can get some Matchlock Ashigaru to just watch over. We'll build them up in West Tosa, and then I'll start sending some troops over to, uh... Oh, shit. Hunting Lodge. Uh, what we got? No, 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 no. You know what? Sword. Sword. Yeah, we need a Katana. Like, as much as it's nice having the power, power bomb throwers, they, they don't actually do anything in comparison to, say, for example, you know, Katana... Ron, uh, Katana Ronin. <laughs> right. Actual peace as well. Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be the plan for the next episode. We're going to launch the ultimate attack and launch the decisive battle to win this sector. We win this sector, the, uh, the Saito will have to go on the defensive, giving us the initiative to be able to push in and secure Central... It's mainly just to secure Osaka, Kawachi, and maybe South Kawachi if we're being a bit cocky. Because then we could push towards Negoro, and that would give us a solid front line um, against the Saito. Obviously, the Noto Hatakiyama will be a factor, but hopefully, by that point, um, by securing Osaka, Central Kawachi, and South Kawachi, um, and obviously Negoro, we can at least ensure that. Um, how many turns do we have to Lepic Architecture? Two. Cool. And then we'll finally catch up with them lot. And then hopefully, yeah, cool. And then once we've done that, looking a bit further ahead, um, how many turns till we get back to... How, so how many turns till I can go back to war with Matsuda? Five turns. Uh, so in about five turns, I can then... In that time of taking all these territories, I can probably... Um, well, in, if... Or earlier, if these guys are stupid enough, which I hope they are, um, I can then launch my offensive with uh, Naozaku, Tamihide, Muko, Konikuchi. Uh, don't forget, of course, this guy is still in action. Unfortunately, he doesn't. He has only Ashigaru, but I can probably fix that problem in a minute. We're still constructing the Nodachi and the Dojos. Admittedly, they're not going to be um, as good as, for example. Uh, uh, but they do. He does have Kiso Ninja, so he does. He has this guy is mainly going to be a ground support army, and I think he will probably do some pretty good stuff. But we will see. I'm not so confident about Ashigaru, truth be told, but we will see. King Lodge. Hmm. But anyway. So yeah, once we've done that, we can launch an assault and sort that out. And then, hopefully, when we're making our assaults, we can then push down towards North and South Tamba, securing our flanks on that point. Thus, allowing us a little bit of pleasantries before making the move on Kyoto. I do kind of want to knock out a majority of the Saito before I make the move on Kyoto. Because obviously, Kyoto, once we've made the move on Kyoto, whether or not we're obscure, Kyoto is the capital. So we are going to have to deal with that. And, uh, obviously, after that, we've got the rest of the country who will probably not like us. Though, luckily for us, I guess, uh, we'll be able to build up, uh, more... Hopefully, because of all the, uh, build-up that we've had, and also the extra amount of cash we've got, 
my defensive line should, finger quote, hold. Should. Should hold. I'm not saying they will, but they should. What are you? Oh, yeah, you're an unmanned droid ship. Forgot about you. Uh, anyway, so that's going to be it from me. I will now finally end this episode. And hopefully in the next episode we can do some serious battling. This is Mr. Yeager signing out. If you would like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section down below. Clicking on the like button and, of course, subscribing to the channel. And I will see you in the next episode. This is Mr. Yeager signing out. Have a good one, guys.